heavily oxidized subcrop that we just exposed with sulfides. Very deteriorated, very dense. So you can see little pockets in there. Biggest vein we've found so far is, I'd say half a centimeter, nothing crazy. Lots of mineralization, but it's all in the fractures and uh, nothing that great. Uh, depending on the grade of this though, still might be worthwhile to pursue. All we've done here is a preliminary sample along this entire stretch here and uh, we haven't really taken anything other than that. I haven't done any exploring on any other part of the property up there, up there and down below. So we're gonna have to do that for sure. So for now, we're just going to send in probably one additional sample. We're going to catalog the rest. We're probably going to do something along the line of soil sampling uh, to begin with our exploration. So for now, we'll take a look around and see if we can find any more samples worthy of cataloging or sending in. Okay, so we're going to quickly go through some of the samples here. We've got uh, five samples, all from different areas, all similar. So there's not a lot of mineral in here. I'd say the mineral makes up maybe one to two percent of your rock. But if you're dealing with uh, platinum and palladium, then you don't need a lot to make it worthwhile. So I think the initial grab sample we took about a year ago, I say it's something like five or six grams per ton platinum and palladium, which is uh, not bad. So we'll see how these do. These are a little bit nicer looking. And the last sample here. So this is the one we're going to send in right now for analysis. So I'll post the assay result at the end of the video for this as soon as we get it back.